Welcome to the Digital Sculptors video tutorial series. This tutorial shows how to fit a subdivision object to a mesh or scan data in Autodesk Alias using Dynamo. The link to get the sample file is in the video description below. The sample file contains a Dynamo definition, sample scan data and an alias file. Open alias and import the scan data for reference. The mesh data has to be in OBJ format. Please note that this OBJ file is in centimeters. The method to change this unit will be described later in this tutorial. Now let's make a subdivision object close to the scan data. For this tutorial we will make a sub-D primitive plane with four subdivisions in the U and V direction. Place it close to the scan data and scale it roughly to be a bit smaller than the scan data. Open the Dynamo Player from Palette, Transform, Dynamo Player. Select the Dynamo Definition. Select the Scan Data. Select the Sub-D that we just created. Click on Accept button. Within a couple of seconds, a new sub-D is created that is fitted very close to the scan data. As you can see, the control vertices are slightly above the scan, but the limit surface lies on the scan data. This now has history. If you change the original sub-D the result also changes. Let's open the Dynamo definition and look in detail. The workflow is as follows. The input scan data is retrieved from a file and converted to points. The points are used as a reference. Then the vertices of the sub-D is pulled to the reference data, so that the limit surface lies on the points. The unit's node by default is set to centimeters. Change the unit accordingly. This method depends mainly on two nodes. 1. A custom node in Python to import an OBJ file and outputs the X, Y, Z values of the vertices. As you are probably aware, Alias cannot export meshes to Dynamo and hence this custom Python node. The other important node is T-spline surface, pull vertices. This node pulls the vertices of the input sub-D to the closest reference point in such a way that the limit surface lies on the reference point. Please ensure that the node input, surface points, is set to true for this behavior. Feel free to explore further using Dynamo and Alias. This is the end of this tutorial. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please leave your comments and suggestion. Share the video on your social networks. Thank you for watching.